Hello and welcome once again. So I want to be doing yet another tier list because I had a lot of fun with the last one. Uh, this time we're going to be jumping to a spinoff called Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. If you guys know me, you know that I've basically got my first start through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. So I feel like it would be very fitting. I have all of them here um, at the very bottom and that should be basically everything from the main story and the reason for that is uh, we'll be here all day i mean look at everything else there's 166 songs in the soundtrack and we don't got time for that let's start off with beach cave this is very much a first level song i mean there's not really anything that'll blow you away about it it does kind of give the sense of just an adventure waiting to happen i mean you can hear it from the pizzicato strings and just the happy, upbeat composition of the whole thing. It's meant to be a song that just kind of shows you the ropes, like what, what this game is about. And I think this this song is perfect for that. As for like my own excitement, how much I like it, it's more like background noise to me personally. So I'm probably just gonna put it in the okay tier. All right, next, we're gonna jump to number 12, which is Drenched Bluff. This one's a little bit more interesting. I do like this one. It's still very upbeat. Nothing's really going on in the story that is frightening or anything like that. You're still happy-go-lucky. You're still just a couple of kids, you know, starting off on your adventure together. This song is very good for that. But honestly, again, just like Beach Cave, it's kind of just background noise for me. But um, not in a bad way. It's still nice in its own right. So I'm probably just gonna put Drenched Bluff in the okay tier. You know what? Let's put it in the good tier. It's a good song. Like I, I, I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm doing it justice by just calling it okay. Yeah, you know what? I like it. All right, there you go. Put, put down the pitchforks and torches, please. Thank you. Okay, what's the next one? Our next one is Mount Bristle. I like this one. <laughs> As you can tell by my immediate reaction, this is one of the ones where I was like, oh, this soundtrack is good. <laughs> You can definitely tell that this dungeon is one of the more menacing ones. This is still the beginning of the game, but this is where, like, you know, the difficulty kind of turns up a little bit. And I would definitely know, because I'm pretty sure there was, like, a Fero that has this uh, Fury attack, and that can end you very quickly. But, uh, yeah. No, I like this one a lot. Like, I feel like I skipped a dungeon or something, because there's... No? No, we just go to Waterfall Cave. I love this one. I think this song is where the soundtrack really starts to shine. The fact that there's no, not so much going on in the song right here kind of gives you a sense of loneliness. But loneliness mixed with wonder. Like, you hear that, right? All that empty space in the composition? Anyway, fantastic. I love it. It's great. <laughs> it's one of the first songs where I was like really impressed by the soundtrack. Okay, let's go to the next one. Apple Woods. You know, I actually remember this one very well. I was in seventh grade when I was playing Explorers of Darkness and Time, and I vaguely remember trying to play this song on my saxophone because I was in band class. Like the main melody. Yeah, there's some good memories with this one. <laughs> no one knows what I was playing because everyone was playing Modern Warfare 2 while I was playing freaking <laughs> Explorers of Darkness and Time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was a loser. Oh, well. Applewoods is good. I like that one a lot. This upcoming part is my favorite, though. Next! Craggy Coast. Oh, I love this one. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. This is five, four. I really like that time signature. Oh, I, I love that, like, this song experiments with uh, time signatures. It even switches to, like, six, four, probably. I'm not entirely sure. It could also be three, two. Um, 
or three, four. I'm still not entirely sure. Ah, it's so good. Yeah, this is, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm putting this in banger territory. I love this one so much because of how much it experiments with the time signatures. It's not something you hear often in video game music. And I, I, I got to give it extra points for that. It's one of my favorites, definitely. Next, we got Cave and Side Path. I always remember this theme as the one that you accidentally choose. So you're basically like, oh, I fucked up. It's a nice song, but the association with anger, the fact that you chose the wrong dungeon to go through on like those double path ones. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people don't really like this song for that reason. So I'm gonna just put it in the okay tier. All right, what's the next one? Mount Horn. I remember trying to play this one on the saxophone too. All right, all right, let's rate it, let's rate it. It's a good song. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna put it in a great tier actually, because clearly, I mean, I've been singing along to it. It would be a lie if I put it any lower. Next, Foggy Forest. Oh, I love this one so much, actually. You know, something that always struck me about this song is that I feel like it could make for a really good Christmas song. You know what I mean? It's like those high bells in the background there, and just that, that French horn. I think if you add some sleigh bells to this, bro, this could be absolutely be like a, a winter themed song. But the interesting thing about this is that it's not in any ice level. In fact, it's actually before Steam Cave, <laughs> so it's almost the opposite. But yeah, um, I like this one a lot. I almost want to, you know what, let's put in the bangers here. It's, it's definitely one of the best ones in my opinion. Now we're gonna get to the really good ones. I'm starting to think Banger is gonna be populated. So, uh, Steam Cave, here we go. Oh my god, okay. The ominous feeling of the backing strings, you hear that droning in the background? The and you hear like the, the little peppers of the bells that just kind of go around your ears. You hear it, it like pans around. And you got that bass line that's just telling you that something menacing is gonna happen soon. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect for like what's happening in, this, in the story. And then you gotta switch it up around here. I do like the fact that it kind of freshens up the composition. Anyway, Steam Cave is great. Better than, ooh. Yeah, no, it's up here. Yeah, I like it a lot. What's next? Upper Steam Cave. Now, here's the thing. It, this happens in the first Mystery Dungeon game as well, where if you go far enough into a dungeon, the theme changes. Typically, it's in a dungeon where there's a boss fight, and it's the way that they rearrange the same theme. It, you, you gotta listen to it. We, we gotta listen to it. This is Upper Steam Cave. This just takes that menacing feeling and turns it up to 11. Ooh. Okay, the fact that they switched out the bells for like a deeper harp, I love that. That's really cool. Okay, we're putting it in banger tier. It's one of the better ones. I love this one so much. <laughs> this is hard because there's gonna be so many in banger territory. Oh no. 36. We are in amp planes now. Sorry. <laughs> 
All right, all right. I want to put in the good tier. Far at planes. You know what's interesting? This one I might actually rank a little lower than regular amp planes. So, you know what? I'll put in the okay tier. Let's go to Northern Desert. Oh, I love this one. Oh, no, no, no. This one's... Oh. No. Okay. Hands down. Best one I've heard so far. Jesus Christ. It's just pretty. Like, I can't even give you a reason. It's just very pretty to me. Oh, you hear that? That was a bit of a tempo change, too. Wow. Oh my god. I love this one so much. Okay, next, we're going to Quicksand Cave. Okay. There's something about this one that kind of just... It's very, it sounds like you're on a journey. You're like walking somewhere really far away and you're excited, clearly. That's what it sounds like to me. You're excited about this journey that you're going on. This guitar part, listen. Oh, I love that part. It's so good. Oh my God. <sighs> One of the best one out of the greats. Let's take a quick listen to the remix I made for this one, actually. Let me let me plug my mixtape real quick. This one I made when I was 17 years old, so the quality is probably not going to be great. Okay, what's the next one? Quicksand Pit. Ah, that flute is really nice. Oh, can you imagine that being played by a live player? That's, that's beautiful. Okay, um, where do I put it though? In the very top of the great tier. Yeah, I, that flute, man, it's so good. Okay, Crystal Cave. Another one that I remixed. This one's, uh, this one's interesting because I remixed this one for like, you know how every year I do the, this is my last remix one? This one I remixed for when I was turning 18. So um, this is very old, the remix that I made for this. I do love like all these bells though. They capture the idea that everything around you is, like, sparkling. Y you know what I mean? Because these are very, like, high-frequency sounds. Something you would associate with, like, light, brightness. It, it just sounds sparkly. <laughs> That's what I like about this one. Definitely one of the one of the good ones. Okay, uh, number 44, Crystal Crossing. This is very nice, but honestly, it's okay. But definitely one of the lesser exciting ones. Okay, so we're going to get into a very, very biased territory. You know why? Because we are approaching my favorite part of the entire game. We start with Chasm Cave. Is that how you say it? Is it? Chasm. Ah, I did say it correctly. Okay, I think this was the first time in any game that I've ever played where there was an actual twist, okay? And when I heard this song, the way that it like captures the feeling of you just not understanding what is going on. Listen to the urgency of that bass line and the shakers, or I would say hi-hats, and then the overdramatic sound of like just the melodies that you're hearing right here. Once again, the urgency of those backing strings, it just perfect. It, it captures it so well. Where do I rank it though? I almost feel like I need a tier between banger and great because it's just, ugh, I'm being too positive. I need to crap on some of these. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Um, anyway. Nah, okay. One of the bangers. It has to be, man.
Now Dark Hill is the next dungeon. You hear that bass line again? Menacing. Urgency. That's what it tells me. I think I want to put it somewhere under Mount Bristle, if I can do that. Thank you. This is a good one. Sealed Ruin. Something about that electric piano in the background. I don't know why, but I really like it. This is definitely one of my favorites. In fact, I've actually remixed this one as well. This is old, old though. This was, I was 16 when I made this one. You have to see the art, quote unquote, that I photoshopped together for this crap. It's peak. Graphic design is my passion crap. Like, check this out. Shut up. <laughs> look at this, dude. Look at this. The freaking Omanite. The Omanite. Oh no. <laughs> And you got the grow vial, the sad torchic that I probably cropped out of an anime uh, screenshot. Oh, this is awful, man. Why is Grout on here? I don't know. Why is Omanite here? I don't know either. And I just got a random picture of a cave. All right, shut the hell up. We're, we're going back to the original. Anyway, I love this song. I mean, I loved it enough to remix it. I love this part the most. Oh, which one, which one, which one? Maybe in between these two. Yeah, it's a great one. Oh, I love this one. Okay, okay. Next, Sealed Ruin Pit. Oh. Oh. Okay. So essentially what they did was they took Sealed Ruin, the same rhythm of those notes, but they completely changed the feeling of the song with composition, like different notes, while keeping the same rhythm. So it's familiar, but completely fresh. That's cool. I'm gonna put it down around here in the great tier. It didn't impress me when I was a kid, but now that I know more about music, I'm like, wow, wait, this, this is a cool one actually. Okay. So next is Dusk Forest. Oh. I got memories of this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one time in eighth grade, I wanted to skip class. I was sneaking around the school while this song was playing in my head. <laughs> one of the few times that I actually skipped class, just for the fun of it, is one of, the thing, one of these things you have to do at least once, right? <laughs> oh, I'm a bad influence. But, I don't know, just having this in my head while, like, trying to dodge teachers and security guards, that was peak, peak middle school for me. But I do love this one a lot. <laughs> I'll put it right below Sealed Run. Alright, what's next? Deep Dusk Forest. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Ooh, I'm sorry, I heard those violins. Instant throwback to the first Mystery Dungeon game with those violins. I mean, I know like the entire soundtrack has these, but like there's something about the way it's implemented here that really reminds me of the first games. Tension and release. It is a thing that is used a lot in music theory, where you have this sour chord that leads to a resolution that sounds very satisfying. I'm going to be focusing on these two chords right here. And the way I'm going to be doing it is by transcribing all the notes that are being played by the bass strings, the violin, and the horn, which makes this chord here. A sharp minor add four. And then it resolves down to this here, which is an inverted F major. Now, typically it would be just an F major. So like if you listen to this tension and release, 
it's more conventionally resolved. But I think it's even more interesting that they did it over A. Really nice. Hold on, hold on. Let me nerd out one last time because what I didn't realize is the chord that actually plays after. Listen to this part right here. You hear that? So it goes from an A sharp down a half step and down another half step. And that makes a perfect stepping stone in between. So that's why they used A instead of F. I'm done being a nerd. Okay, back to the video. All right. Um, did I rank it yet? No, I did not. I'm gonna say it's a little bit above Dusk Forest there. It's it's really nice. Oh man, look look at how much look at how much the higher tiers are being populated. I'm what can I say? I love these songs. <laughs> okay, next. 55, Tree Shroud Forest. This one's very interesting. I like it a lot though. We're gonna put this around here. This feels right. Oh, if I could just get it in between there. Yeah, this is a really nice one. I like it a lot. All right, we're getting to the end game, boys and girls, and those in between, or neither. 56, Brian Cave. This one holds a special place in my heart because this was the very first song I've ever remixed before using Mario Paint Composer on the PC. I just... This soundtrack is just so experimental in terms of composition. I love it. They really put their composer -usy into this one. I said it, and I'm not taking it back. composer -usy? composer -usy? I don't know. Okay, we'll put it there. <laughs> this, this is getting overpopulated. I'm sorry. I just love the soundtrack. This is this is such a pointless video. Okay, lower brine cave. hear that? You hear the bell in the foreground, but there's this like, it's on your left ear, and it's like delayed a whole beat behind that foreground bell. Interesting. I never noticed that before. Anyway, I like this song a lot. <laughs> I just, I love like how menacing that, that chip tune in the beginning is. I can't tell you what kind of wave that is. Let me see. It almost sounds like a distorted sine wave, or maybe a triangle wave. I'm not sure. Anyway, sounds great. I love it. Uh, but, 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 uh, how great, though? A little bit above regular Brian Cave. Let me let me show you my Brian Cave. I made this one about nine years ago. Or actually, no, ten years ago. Yep, I was 16. Wow. Not very good with my mixing, but hey, at least the drum beat's pretty cool. Hidden land. We're we're very close to the end. My head is starting to hurt. Okay. No. Oh. Anyway, this is a great song. Um, very mysterious, very unknown. Uh, definitely one of the best ones. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's put this in the banger territory. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm gonna downgrade you to the top of great. You need to leave. But the reason is because of what happens next. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And I've remixed this one in a very unconventional way. Uh, I'll definitely show you this afterwards. This one, I, I love it so much because 
you can definitely tell that you're approaching the end of the game with this. With those church bells, the dramatic violin, which is even more dramatic with the delay, the effect that's given to the violin. You hear that? It's almost like dreamlike. No, 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 not that dream. I love this part so much. Oh, this is so beautiful. Now, let me show you the very unconventional way that I remix this one. I don't know what kind of made me go for this kind of style, but I'm happy. Like, I think I did good with this. For something that's 10 years old? Random sword? Why not? Whatever, dude. Just <laughs> throw sound effects in there. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't rated this yet. Yeah. Temporal Tower. I've remixed this song like four times. I'm not even joking. All right, time to rank it. That's right. I hate it. I'm just kidding. Let's put it in a rightful spot. I'm gonna put it there. Northern Desert is still the one to beat for me. And I know just the song that'll do it. It's cliche, I know, but hear me out. I know I use this word a lot, but the urgency from the ticking clock, the swelling low strings, and then those high strings that do this call and response with the low string. And you also hear like a choir swelling in with those high strings. It's just, this intro already tells you that something's gonna go down really soon. Then we go to the next section. Now, something that I hear with these these percussion uh, choices here, you hear like a, like this, this bell type thing, and also like a, a wooden block, like you're hitting a wooden block. I, I honestly don't know what that other thing is. The, like, that's another wooden block, but it's like one with bridges that you rub a stick against. This is probably my favorite out of all these songs. And I know it's cliche, but I love this one so much that I'm gonna put it at the very top of Banger. One of my best remixes I've ever made is of this song. One of my favorite franchises of all time. It will always have a special place in my heart. I even got it on my Sona shirt. Look, look at me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching this far. If you have, I've not put a single song in the E eh tier. Because <laughs> I love all these. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully this will be a regular thing <laughs> at some point. I don't know. All right. See ya. Have a good one.